Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you don't mind that we do something a little bit different in this week's video. I just wanted to come at you with a chatty video while I work on a sewing project. So in honor of Me Made May, I need to squeeze in some sewing at some point because I do also like to sew from time to time. I'm very much a beginner. I've only done a couple of projects, um, and one of which is something that I'm taking apart in this video. So the checkered uh, fabric is actually a skirt. I followed a pattern by Common Stitch. It's called the Waddle Bird Wrap Skirt, I think. I really love the pattern. I thought it was really straightforward and easy and looks really nice too. But for some reason with this fabric, it's just not cute. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I'm wearing an apron. I made actually with this fabric some nice pants that I wear at home all the time, but the skirt is more of a wear outside of the house kind of thing. And I don't know, I just don't wanna wear it outside of the house. So we're gonna turn it into a pillow. Yes, a pillow, very simple. <laughs> Two squares sewn together. And we're gonna be using the yarn that I talked about in last week's video. So if you missed that one, basically last week I was talking about some abandoned projects that I have that still need to go on the knit list. And then one with this yarn is not going to be knit up at all because I just find that it's just too difficult to work with. Um, and one person actually commented in last week's video saying, you know, life is way too short to knit with difficult yarn. And I 100% agree. So instead of throwing it out, I promise I will not throw it away. I'm gonna make use out of it and use it as stuffing for this pillow. So I like to do simple projects when I'm trying to get in the mentality for sewing because I need to get reacquainted with my sewing machine. I just don't sew frequently enough to remember every time how to use my machine. So this was really good practice for me um, just to get in the headspace for sewing because that's why I really don't sew very often because it's just, it's not as mobile as knitting. Like I love that I can bring my knitting with me basically anywhere that I wanna be in the house. For example, if I wanna be on the couch, I can knit on the couch, but you can't sew on the couch. You can cut out pattern pieces on the couch, which I've done, but then eventually you're gonna have to make your way to the desk at the sewing machine and really just focus and pay attention to what you're doing. I feel like it's not as forgiving as knitting can be. Like if you drop a stitch, you can easily correct that. But if you sew something wrong, you have to spend so long just ripping out the seams um, to be able to correct it. I think I wanna do a couple of like a dress and maybe some tops for summer. So this is gonna be kind of my intro project because I honestly haven't even picked up the sewing, picked up the sewing machine. I haven't sewed at all yet this year. Um, my last pair or my last sewing project was actually very difficult. I did the Persephone pants, which turned out really good, but they were, it was a very difficult project. Um, my, my skill level is just not high enough for it to be, you know, perfect, but they are cute. They're cute pants. I'm really happy with how they turned out. So I would like to follow a couple of patterns and then also just some tutorials from either Rosary Apparel or The Essentials Club, two YouTubers that I follow and love um, for sewing inspiration. I find everything that they make is just gorgeous. So here, now I've sewn the two panels together. I left an opening in the pillow so that I can put the stuffing inside and uh, just making sure that it's all ironed out. But now comes to the part with the yarn. So I have a lot of skeins of this yarn. Uh, and yeah, what I'm just gonna do and what I started to do, you'll see, is that I just started individually just snipping uh, the yarn off. And oh my God, if I would have kept doing that, that would have taken so long. I'm so glad I caught myself. And because what am I doing here? This is just, really did I think that that was gonna be the most efficient way to do it? No, no, no. So then I started wrapping it around my hand and uh, cutting it in half and that was much better. So while the yarn itself to knit with isn't very good, I think it works very well as a nice uh, stuffing material because it does stick together very nicely. And it's not particularly soft, but it has a nice squishiness to it. So I think it's gonna work really nice as a pillow. It does work really nice as a pillow, because spoiler alert, I finished it. Yeah, but it actually took me a really long time. The stuffing was the hardest part about this project because I was making it all from scratch. Um, but yeah, you can see it's nice and squishy and 
then it just came down to, yeah, putting it all in there. At first I had only cut, this pile is only two skeins worth of the yarn. And then I think I ended up doing all six. So all six skeins, oh, and yeah, I think I inhaled so much plastic, <laughs> to be honest, I started sneezing uh, and coughing. It, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, you know, like this isn't something that I think you should buy yarn for by any means, that's not at all what this is about. This is really just about me using what I have and getting use out of it. Uh, but no, I don't recommend going to the store and buying yarn so that you can make stuffing. I think you should just buy stuffing at that point or, you know, use stuffing from an old pillow. That's also something that you could do. And then when I finally did those last four skeins, I just needed to stuff it to make sure in all the corners that it was evenly distributed. And then with that opening, I was just gonna sew it up, but I took one of my well-loved tags and this was very difficult to put the tag in and try and yeah, keep it all pinned together. I don't know why I was having the hardest time just trying to keep everything pinned in. It kept shifting. Also because of the stuffing, I think it's just very difficult. Yeah, in the end, I think it turned out really nice. I like having the little tag there and that was kind of my way of making it a little bit more complex and a little bit more, um, yeah, just branded. <laughs> yeah, and so then it was just sewing the two pieces together. I mean, again, this isn't a difficult project, but I thought that the tag just added something a little bit different, a little bit extra. I don't know, adding a tag to everything makes it look so much better. So I highly recommend it. So it was a quick project and now the yarn is being used in a way that's gonna make me happy. So don't hate on me too much for cutting up all this yarn. It is my yarn at the end of the day and this is what was gonna make me the happiest. But thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble on for a little while. I hope that maybe this inspired you to look at your yarn a little bit differently and uh, I'll speak to you next time. Bye.